Just last week, Sand Springs police did not believe it existed, but today they released body camera video showing an officer involved shooting from earlier this month. Joe News reporter Joe Hinkie joins me now with how they recovered the evidence, and Joe, they thought it was lost. They did, Karen. Uh, Sand Springs officer Brian Barnett's camera malfunctioned on April 11th, and the department thought it did not record any video whatsoever as he shot and killed 66-year-old Donald Allen. But a computer forensic expert recently recovered the video, and we can now see what happened. With the video finally in hand, the opinion at the Sand Springs Police Department remains the same. I think it very clearly shows he made a good decision. He made the decision he had to make. Outside his Sand Springs home, Donald Allen can be seen approaching Officer Brian Barnett. Allen's wife tells police he was a schizophrenic off his medication for a year. Allen points a pistol at Officer Brian Barnett, who tells him to lower the gun. Drop the gun, man. Allen does not, threatens Barnett, and the officer shoots Allen several times killing him. He didn't want to make this decision. He was forced to make a decision. Uh, but when he did, he did what we, we trained him to do. The recovered video file is corrupted and contains no sound, but they managed to match the audio to another officer's body cam. After struggling to recover anything they could, police now trying to avoid similar malfunctions in the future. We've been in contact with the manufacturer. Um, we are looking at uh, the next generation of cameras. 278 Temple. With the camera's lens partially covered by the officer's extended arms and gun, Sand Springs PD are also looking for cameras that capture a wider view. Uh, we're looking at how we can avoid that and is there a better you know, mousetrap to, to build. Now, as the Tulsa County District Attorney reviews all the evidence from this shooting, Officer Brian Barnett remains on paid leave. And Karen, as we reported last week, Allen's wife uh, says to the Sand Springs Police Department she simply holds no ill will against the officer involved. All right, Joe, thanks for the update on that.